Okay, so hey guys, Pokecraft is here today. I have my dad again. Thunderhand64. Yes, and we're gonna make a video about Minecraft economics. Yes. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go up to the farms because that's where it all begins. Okay. We're off. Off to the farms. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mine is lagging so hard right now. You have a little bit of lag going. Yeah. We're gonna go up to farms. Let me, let me get rid of this nuisance. Okay. He's done. All right, let's head outside. Oh, oh, zombie, zombie. All right, I'll take care of the little guy. Another one. Zombie. Somehow these guys spawned inside. Yeah. What is this? Uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes the light level gets a little low. Okay, they're all done. How about you? I'm done. I'm good. I'm good. Right. The farms. Okay, now on with our tutorial. Yes, finally after getting killed by zombies. Okay, so uh, in another video we talked about automated farms, although we didn't go into a lot of detail about them. Yeah. But uh, let's quickly just jump inside here. Okay. All right. You're up above. I'm I'm in one of the farms. Yeah. Okay. I'm modifying this farm, so it's under construction. That's why this door is blocked off. But again, uh, you can see that this this little um, brown coat here, and it's important, he's a Fletcher, he's not a farmer. And I'll yeah, explain sure. why you don't want farmers farming, right? Yeah. Uh, so Fletcher, fishermen, uh, leather, uh, not leather workers, but any of the brown coats without the aprons, have them do the planting and farming, and that'll become clear in just a moment. So he'll plant, and then he'll harvest, and then he'll bring them in, he'll try to drop them off to this villager, but there's a fence post in the way. So what happens when he throws the crops over to this guy, they go down into a hopper below and into a chest. And so we have all the food being gathered for us. So we have an endless supply of food. So come on outside. I'm not good with buttons. <laughs> there you go. Come on up. There he is. Okay. So then they all gather in chests. All right. So we can come over to the chest. And so... Yeah, look at this. Oh my god. There's and so this is just some of it. Underground, I have tons of chests just filling up with food, right? So yeah. what we can do now is we can bring the food up and we can use the, exchange the food for emeralds, right? Yeah. So if you guys have that automated farm, you're pretty much good. Right? Well, let's head and on up gonna... to the librarian level way up here at the top of the tower. We're going to check out why. Sorry, okay. it's a long climb up. Maybe later I'll make some sort of redstone super fast elevator to get us up here or something. But yeah, right but now, so this is the first level. We're going up to the second level where all the villagers are right now. That's right. Oh, yeah, guys. Sorry about we're going to do ride land maybe today. I don't know. Okay, so. All right, so come on over here now. Here I have a farmer, right? Yeah, and he's in minecart. <laughs> right. And so now, all the food that's being generated, I can trade with this farmer and get lots and lots of emeralds, right? Yeah, let me, let me see. So you can get, like, a bunch of food. You can trade the food and stuff, so you can get emeralds. Right. And now, I can use the emeralds to trade with the librarians for enchantments. And then the system is closed, right? Which means the loop is closed. I can now have an endless supply supply of emeralds, if you think about it. And now, what do I need to buy enchantments? I need books, right? Now, I could either go slaughter cows and get the leather, and then go over to the sugarcane farm and get the sugarcane, make the paper, and make the leather books, or I could find somebody who's selling bookcases for very, very cheap. Like this. But this guy's the cheapest. This guy's the cheapest. He's selling one three. bookcase for three emeralds. He's the cheapest. Yeah. I can now... Put my bookcase down, take my hatchet. And you get a bunch of books. And I get three books. I can now come over here. And I can use my books and my emeralds to get the enchantment that I want. Right. And just drop the book on just drop the book on the ground so that we can see it. Okay. Here's my extra books. Alright. Yeah, so you can just use these Now, books. I got those from the bookcase, right? 
So yeah. and you can just trade with them for. So the stuff villagers like are farming the food for us. We bring the food up here. We trade with the farmer. That's why you don't want the farmer to actually farm the food because you need him to trade. Yeah. Right. You can trade like food. And so and get bring the food up here. Get the emeralds. <laughs> Use the emeralds to buy bookcases, chop the bookcases up to get the books, bring the emeralds and the books over and get the enchantments that you want. Yeah. Okay, so that was the end of this tips and tricks video. Hope you like it if you guys want more in depth. That was basically like, yeah. So if you guys want more of this world, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.